Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Wednesday drawing session with me, Frank Cho. I hope you guys all had a great winter break. And keeping up with the wintry theme, I decided to do something different, something new. Uh, I decided to draw Elsa from Frozen, uh, a Disney princess. That's right. I'm going to draw a Disney princess. Now, normally when I draw a Disney princess, I just follow the uh, the character model sheet that you know that you can find on online and it looks pretty much like exactly like the the cartoon character but this time with Elsa I decided to draw her in a more realistic style in my style so that's what I'm doing right now so I just want that Elsa with her hand pointed right at you ready to blast you um so she actually the the pose um it can go it can go any way. Uh, the, you know, it could be uh, um, Emma Frost. It could be Scarlet Witch. Uh, it could even be Doctor Strange. <laughs> or, uh, but in this case, it was Elsa from Frozen. So as you saw earlier, I'm having trouble with the hand. So I actually uh, I posed myself. I posed my hand to get a reference for reference to see how the hand looked like. In forced perspective, uh, the guy that who draws absolutely wonderful hands is Neil Adams. I can't say enough good things about Neil Adams. Neil Adams was just a master of a lot of things. Uh, another artist that I really enjoy uh, looking at for their hands, who draws like really expressive hand gestures and stuff, is Albert Dorn. Um, he was a uh, classic illustrator. Um, from the uh, 1930s through the 60s, I believe. And he was one of the teachers at the famous um, uh, illustration school. He actually wasn't more of a, a classic illustrator. He was more of a cartoony guy. But he drew just very expressive hands. Uh, Kerry Gemmel uh, was another guy uh, who actually reminded me of Albert Dorn's hand when he when he when Kerry drew his hands Kerry also draws very expressive hands and his stuff always reminded me of Albert Dorn but the guy that I love uh, again is Neil Adam Neil Adam is the absolute master of drawing hands especially drawing hands just pointing at you you know those just did those absolutely just beautiful force perspective which which takes a lot of skill and talent so uh, with um, with Elsa, I wanted her kind of like using her power on you, so she's pointing the hand directly at you to give you that winter blast. And um, and the funny thing is, uh, her hair was kind of interesting because she had this really big braid. So so her hair was pulled back into this giant braid uh, ponytail. Um, so when I drew the hair, it looks closely cropped here, but it really isn't. It's, you know, I'm going to basically later draw the, the braid to show that, um, you know, the, the braid that's coming out from the back of her, uh, head. So, so again, I'm just fiddling with the, uh, the hand gesture, which is always, um, the difficult part. I mean, overall, this sketch kind of came out pretty relatively easy, unlike the last week's sketch with uh, Electra. Uh, but with this sketch, it just kind of flew in a, flowed out at me, and so I was actually happy with that. And here I am, just you know, just figuring out the the, the rib cage and the and her torso area. So when I draw, I like to kind of like, you know figure out all the musculature of the person, you know. The the female and the male bodies are, you know, muscle-wise, they're pretty much similar. Uh, it's just that women have a more narrow waist and uh, wider hips, but eventually, but, you know, ultimately, they're, they're all very similar when it comes to uh, the muscle structure. And so here's the part that really kind of threw me off because I assumed that the cape was attached to her back, but the cape was actually attached to her 
uh, her top. It's like her, her halter top, which kind of flew out into a, uh, flowed out into a cape. So that actually threw me, threw me for a loop. Um, so when I, uh, when I was looking at the, the reference, uh, um, you know, the, the, the model sheet, and so that was kind of bizarre, and I was trying to figure out how to make it work um, realistically. So it's always funny when you translate cartoon figures into realism, you actually do a lot of mental gymnastics to figure out how, how do you make it look realistic? How do you make a cartoon figure look realistic? And that's what happened there. And so, uh, as I said before, uh, I just assume Elsa had this relatively a simple dress. Um, but it wasn't simple. There were a lot of intricate design uh, and texture in the dress. Uh, she had these like um, this rectangular um, crystal looking thing all all in her dress, especially uh, in, her, in her top. Um, so when I'm drawing realistically, you kind of have to simplify things. So once I got the skirt down, um, I had to redraw the cape because it didn't float right. The entire figure did not flow right. So you have the, her long dress kind of swooping to the left. And I thought the, the cape should kind of, um parallel that and kind of like reinforce that so so the flow uh, continues that's why I had the the cape kind of like go up instead of down so that's something that you'll learn after a while um, you, you kind of get a feeling fl uh, for the, the just the overall mass of how things flow yeah so the so the drawings is really about flow just you know making sure there's just, there's a slow there's like a really slow and even and really nice transition from the anatomy to the, the clothing and all that. So uh, as I do always, I'm never happy with the face. I'm redrawing it. Uh, and I decided to cock her eye in this one um, because in the, uh, the cartoon, she's always seemed to be cocking her eye with the, like the rock with the one eyebrow cocked up, you know raise um so but so yeah so i decided to make her eye a little bit bigger just to kind of give it that uh as a nod to the uh to the cartoon um to the to her uh cartoon character um and that also kind of like reinforces the um the 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 anime kind of look about that a lot of the cartoons have. They have these big giant round head with big giant eyes. So So uh here I am drawing the uh the, the hand and again um it's all about, you know, getting the gesture right. So half the time it, it really is getting the gesture right. Once you nail down the gesture uh, everything just comes easily. And so like the cape, I'm making sure that the her braid kind of curls to the um, curls up uh, to give it that more energy to uh, to the figure, and also kind of like mirror the the cape and the her skirt. So everything kind of flows, you know, in a continuous flow. Um, so like clothing, you know, you definitely want the clothing to flow and all that. And, um, and just reinforcing all the, the body outline, making that make sure that the waist is cinched and adding the power and, uh, and then the snowflakes. So I'm adding the snow just to give it that overall wintry appearance. And uh, here I'm just you know, fussing with the hair a little bit. And she kind of has like a slight Superman kind of curl in some of the cartoons. So just added that. It's all the little detail that just makes the overall drawing. So there it is. Elsa from Frozen. <laughs>